Hello. How are you doing? Guten Morgen. We have got a travesty of a stream planned for today. Uh, welcome to Is This Your Card, the new weekly stream over here at twitch.tv slash loading ready run. Mimi Wheeler. And as you can see, I'm in my home office today um, by the photo of my alive cat and my dead cat. And if you want to support the cats over here at LoadingReadyRun.com, you can do so through supporting Patreon.com slash LoadingReadyRun. Uh, all the support we receive over there uh, really helps us out. It's the reason that we could do this. And you can also support us through Store.LoadingReadyRun.com, YouTube, Twitch, obviously, or the Friday Night's Kickstarter? I don't actually remember if it's a Kickstarter or if it's a GoFundMe. It's a Kickstarter, right? GoFundMe is more for charity and all that. Yes, Kickstarter. Nailed it. Woo! This is why I'm the moneymaker of the company, baby. It's a Kickstarter. Uh, we have made the goal, but there are, you know, things beyond that. And also, uh, if you like to see this and want to see it as big as possible, uh, support the Friday Night's Kickstarter. Especially if you have spent the past however many years going, is Friday nights coming back? When's Friday nights coming back? It's like you got it. I mean, every time you have asked us, hey, any news on Friday nights, you have to donate at least $5 per buh, buh, buh incident. All right. All right. Great. Um, I am going to play a game for January. Hopefully. Hopefully I'm going to play it through January. Uh, called Chandelar. If you don't know what Chandelar is, it's it's not actually the name of the game. Uh, let me let me break it down for everybody. Uh, there is no music playing. That is in that I, I assume intentional, at least with this build that we have uh, in front of you. Uh, I'm playing. First off, I'm playing this game because I figured it's a new year. This is the first is this year card of 2024. And we ended 2023 with a very strong game. Cobalt Core might be my favorite game of the past year. And what better way to kick off the new year with dog shit, you know? Um, so Chandelar is actually just called Magic the Gathering. Uh, it's a game from 1997. Uh, that was, uh, who's this guy? Sid Myers. Is that his name? Wait, is Sid Myers not involved in this? Sid Myers was involved in one of these. They stole my tweet. Who stole my tweet? Who stole my tweet? Yeah, it's older than 60% of the audience. It's, it's an old ass game. That's all you need to know. Oh, the expansion packs. I see. I see. Long story short. Um, this is like the OG Magic the Gathering, like, digital card game. Um, but I believe there are more than cards involved. I'm going to, I'm going to let you in on a secret. I have never played this game. I have never watched this game be played. I know very little about this game like like nothing like absolutely nothing um also this game is prone to crash it is very old and does not really cooperate with operating systems beyond i windows xp i think we'll make this work I'm saying this up front. If this becomes completely unplayable after the first week or first day, we will have to pivot. Or I'm going to have to figure out a way to get it properly set up at the office. I'm not going to be at home for the entire month. I'm likely going to... Uh, I didn't have time to troubleshoot everything and get it set up at the office. Um, and... At least here, if something goes wrong, I can hold Mulder in front of the camera for the next two hours or whatever. Uh, so let's 
let's click start new game and see see where we're going okay 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 oh and importantly um no back seating this is going to be a classic hey chat stream as the originator of the hey chat uh yeah i if i ask for help um then great i'll let you know i tend to play games like this where i will say things out loud that might be in the form of a question that doesn't mean i'm looking for a direct answer that means that i am explaining my thought process and what's going on in my head as i move through the game um i don't really want tips or tricks i kind of want to get my ass kicked a bunch um if there's something that is like a hey ben uh you need to like hey ben you need to do this so that you don't waste five hours like collecting lands or something which i think is that's like one of the few things i know that i'm supposed to do is that i actually need to like get basic lands and that mishra's uh factory is broken but if there's something like that, then I'll be more inclined to be like, okay, tell me, because I don't want to waste five hours grinding. But if I'm selecting my difficulty level, and we have apprentice, magician, sorcerer, and wizard. I mean, I'm clearly a wizard, right? Like, this is an example. Hey, chat, how miserable is my experience as wizard going to be? Is it going to be, like, completely atrocious? Should I be a sorcerer? Or a magician? I don't think we need to do apprentice. Very horrible. I mean, we could just do magician. We, this is Magic the Gathering, after all. So we could start with magician. You know? Magician feels like a reasonable spot to start. The difficulty settings affect your starting cards. Oh, that's terrible. Well, let's start with a mag <laughs> oh, let's start with a magician. Uh, select your color. Red. Red magicians specialize in the violence of chaos and combat. White. The focus of white magic is on healing, protection, and the chivalrous arts of war. Black. Black's magic pow Black magic's power comes from death and decay green like nature green magic can bring both soothing serenity and thunderous destruction and blue blue magic thrives on mental energy artifice and illusion select my color okay first off we're not in wooberg order but this is also not in the like because Wooberg wasn't always a thing. There were other, like, people... Uh, there were other organizations of the colors that people uh, followed. Um, like, uh, what alphabetical was a big one back in the day, right? Like, people did black, blue, green, red, white. I don't know what red, white, black, green, blue is. Um... I don't know which one I want to pick. Does it matter? White, I, look, I'm a, I'm a Savannah Lions gamer. So I think I want to start with white. I could start with black because this is way back in the day, right? So if I start with black, I'm likely going to have some amount of dark rituals, which feels pretty cool. Uh, red, the creatures stink. The cards outside of lightning bolt and fireball stink. I think I want to go with white. <laughs> Oh, okay, we got... Wait, 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 what? There's a car... Oh, no. Oh, no. Why is there a character creation? Wait, what? <laughs> okay. All right, we're going to spend... Ooh, I like that. There are so many options. Oh, my God. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. There are seventeen different outfits. And I assume. Oh, well, th for this guy, it doesn't really do anything. Wow. 
Oh, this is a jewel. I see. This is some kind of accoutrement on, on your head. I like that the eye patch is like a default. Um, what are we feeling, folks? You can take the robe off? <laughs> Ooh. Sexy. <laughs> this is sexy. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. This is going to be a collaborative process. I don't... I actually don't hate this. I don't mind this. But let's... Uh, and we got options. At least we know that we can do the half cloak or the full cloak. Um, there's the... Oh, I have variations. Wait, what? Oh, is this just like presets? Anyways. Uh, we have the mummy... Some kind of necromancer. I'm not super down for this. Oh. <laughs> we have... Is this like a crab person? <laughs> is this a homerid? Oh, crab knight. Or goblin? The crab suit. This is like an, like an orc with a crab suit. Okay, all right. And we got some, ooh, some ghouls and goblins armor. Love to see it. Uh, all right, we have uh, a little bit of uh, some uh, appropriation going on here. Okay, classic, classic. Wouldn't be... <laughs> hey, look, it's every white girl at a music festival. Um, let's, uh, let's, let's move on to... Oh, I like this hat. That's a good hat. And I get lightning and a clown horn. I mean, it's not a clown horn, but you got to admit from this, from this angle, it kind of looks like a clown horn. I could just be holding a frog. Okay. I like this. It's just a lot of like half dead people holding. This is a very scantily clad top. Whoa! I got the chainmail bikini. Okay, liking it, liking it. All right. Well, now we got this. Is this is? There's only one way to word this. This is this is fetishistic. This is what is this? This is somebody's kink. Is this Sid Meier's kink? <laughs> is it? This has got to be Sid Meier's kink, right? Damn. Oh my god, okay, all right, all right. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Okay, yeah, all right. All right, we got it. We got it picture. We got it done. I, this is kind of, this is like, uh, oh yeah, here we go. This is what we're doing. Now, do I want the, are those flowers? Oh yeah, the flower, we got to go with flowers. This is, uh, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. What's this guy's name? Uh, art. Actually, I think TXC2 was saying art as in like, this is art, but art is actually a really good name for this character. They call me Artie. <laughs> Save my character? Holy shit. I actually have to save. They all have names? Chunk, Cutie Pie, Desdemona. I, that can't be how you pronounce it. Greeny, Groucho, Lance, Elena, Lizzie, Lumpy, Medusa, Ophelia, Sensei, and Splinter. Um, Rick Thickly. Great. Now, how do I leave? Do I just leave? <laughs> this is not full screen. Not yet. Rick. Wait, what? Rick. Why is it capitalizing the I? Rick. Rick. 
when you hold down caps locks, it does it for like two of them? What is going on? Thickly. There we go. Chandelier materializing. Oh, sweet Christ. Is there just no music? I'm worried. Oh, this is my deck. Why is half of it full screen? Why? <laughs> okay, my deck looks sick though. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. 40 cards. I've got 11 planes and four forests. Colossus of Sardia is a nine mana card. So in my 15 land deck, I have a nine mana card. Uh, we got a wall of swords. Do it. Do I have to break down what magic, how magic works here? This is the original magic. If you aren't familiar with Magic the Gathering, it's genuinely pretty straightforward as far as picking up the basic rules. Uh, there are two kinds of cards. There are spells and lands. Lands are your resource. You use them to cast your spells. Uh, for instance, White Knight here has two of these little sun emblems in the top right corner. That means you need to somehow get two white mana, which you can grab off these planes, which notice how they have a white sun in the middle. So your resource for mana comes primarily from lands. There are other cards that can provide mana, but that's what Magic the Gathering is. It's a base set of rules and a bunch of exceptions. Uh, cards also don't need to use colored mana. They can have uh, colorless mana. So Wall of Swords up here has one sun and a three, meaning you can use three of any kind of mana uh, and one sun. Uh, Wall of Swords and White Knight are both creatures. Uh, this is a type of spell. Creatures stick around on the board. They can attack your opponent. They can block other creatures. They're, cre they're monsters. They, they hang out. I'm not going to give a full rundown of this. I'm just going to give a rundown as if you've ever played a game in your life. Um, <clears throat> creatures stick around. They're what we call permanents. Other kinds of permanents include enchantments, which aren't creatures, but they just kind of chillax, hang out, and have some effect on the board, or they have an ability that you can use at any given time. Um, I, oh my god, there are no instants or sorceries in this deck. Holy smokes. Well, there is a tutorial. We could boot up the tutorial videos and show them off. That would actually be kind of fun. But uh, let's see what we got here. We got a, got a wall. Walls can't attack. We got a white knight. That's a good card. Tundra Wolves is probably a good card. Samite Healer. A Sarah Angel using 7th edition art? It, oh, this must be like the updated version of this game. I know that there, this is a version with some updated artwork. Uh, I believe the updates, the artwork I can't make a comment on, but I believe some of the updates uh, were done to um, avoid the game crashing. There's a way to swap the art back to the originals, but it's annoying. Uh, that's fine. We'll get there. Uh, I mean, we got Benelish Hero and Mesa Pegasus. These both have Banding and Pikeman. Wow, I'm like a Banding deck. Get ready to learn how Banding works, folks. I have a pretty good understanding of Banding, but it's also been a hot minute. Banding's kind of a mess. If you got a creature, one creature with Banding and and a, a non another creature without Banding, they can attack as a band, which basically means that you assign how combat damage is done both to uh, and from the band. Okay, great. Um, I, is there a, oh shit. Ha! 
How do I get this to be full screen? What happened? <laughs> okay, hold on. This might go full screen once we get into the match. Um, Anti. We're playing for Anti. If you don't know what Anti is, this is a very... Uh, wait, you can't... It just does this first time coming out of the character editor. Restarting the game might make it full screen. Okay. Um, so anti is a really old kind of rule where uh, I be, if I lose, I have to give up this pikeman. If I win, I get my opponent's drain life. The witch. Those who enter the domain of the mighty black wizard must pay for the privilege. Will you duel this witch or pay 40 gold? I'm going to duel this witch. Okay, so I'm going to probably restart the, the game after this. Does that mean I win? I won the coin toss. I... Wait, I chose to draw? No, I didn't. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me, let me make this at least somewhat larger. It's not going to stay like this, but... Oh, the witch won the coin toss. I... You got to understand, this font's not great. Uh... You will take the first turn. Oh, the witch won and decided to go on the draw. Oh my god. Uh, the witch did not take a mulligan. Okay. Do I, do I have my hand? I'll start the duel. I drew my nine drop. Okay. Main phase. Cast spells and play land. I gotta play a planes, and I gotta pass. Did it let me mulligan? Mulligan rules in this game are all land, no land. Oh, you've gotta be fucking kidding me. Really? Is there any way to get this large planes artwork out of the way? My opponent has dark ritualed on turn one. Or is this just always here? This is just always here. <laughs> Okay, my heart sank when they cast Dark Ritual, but all they did was cast Wall of Bone. Fast effects? Discard phase? Okay, all right, right. Nice, I drew another planes. Pass the turn. Land go, okay. They're at six life? What is going on? And why can I not draw? <laughs> Play of Blades. I'm at 10. I know I'm at 10. What? I can't. I just, oh my god. I uh, they're dream. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh my god. They drain life me for one, and I just seeing the fucking geez, just seeing Rick Thickly show up. Oh, oh, we drew a forest. All right, it's game over. So I'm gonna tap my forest at a green mana and play Shadow Dream Dryads, and I'm gonna pass the turn. Please use terror on my Shadow Dream Dryads. Another wall of bone. Jesus Christ. The bone zone is unreal. I drew another planes. Can I like organize my board? Oh my God, I kind of can. I got to tell you, it felt like I was going to crash the game by doing this. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. <clears throat> Cast Sarah Angel. Tap three. I, I'm using this man in my pool. <clears throat> oh, it changed the artwork. Oh. This is the... This is like the portal one? This is like portal or starter? Or is this the Chinese pro? Is this Chinese portal? 
There's like a very specific Sarah Angel. Wow, that's wild. All right. Uh, I'm not going to attack with my creature here. <clears throat> Unfortunately, they may just... Uh, oh, they've played the Throne of Bone. Now, whenever they... Uh, whenever a player plays a black spell, they can pay one to gain one. How do I look at the number of cards in their hand? Is it four? It's right here. I've entered the bone. Zone. Um. What if I do this? I'm gonna play holy armor on my Shannon Dryads. Now this isn't a good play, but it is a play that can potentially get my get my opponent to target this card because it has an aura. Is it that loud? I, I could turn it down. Uh, I get to attack with my Sarah Angel in the air. They took, oh, they took four. Oh, we got them on the ropes. Did I even play a lane for the turn? I did. Four, they got four cards in hand, four mana. Scavenging Ghoul, ooh, classic. Four mana, two, two. At the end of any turn, put a corpse counter on Scavenging Ghoul for each creature put into the graveyard from play during that turn. No, you got your Scavenging Ghoul. I should, I should probably put this in still energy onto my Shannon and Drides, just so they're incredibly tempted to kill it. We're lucky that we drew our only good card in the deck. Sarah Angel. Oh my God, that unlocked, that genuinely unlocked something in my brain. That genuinely unlocked, that noise is, they use that on Magic Online. They use that noise on old Magic Online. Oh my fucking God. I have defeated the slimy witch. Will you take the cards? Take the dungeon clue. Hey chat, what does the dungeon clue mean? And why does it have Mox Ruby and Time Vault? Is this... So I can either take Drain Life, Swamp, or Ragman. The dungeon contains those cards. Those are cards I can find in the dungeon. I can enter the dungeons on the map that have those cards to find them. Do I need to select this clue if I, I just now know where to go? Yeah, I get all three of these cards, plus the ante. Clues help you find them. You don't need them. You can just stumble over them. Well, I'm just going to take the cards. Dungeon rules. Life losses carried over. Power struggle permanently. Wait. Okay, hold on. I... This is not my avatar. Oh my god. Oh my god, the witch! What happened to my big... My big thick? Why am I some twink I clicked the wrong one no because it showed or did I oh did I click the clue and not the cards I took the clue okay that's fine uh yeah who, who gives a shit I could just fight some other witches um the avatar is not related to my portrait great so how do I save in this game <laughs> Oh, the Frexian Tower. 
<laughs> this is absolutely not what I expected, by the way. Had no idea. I can right click, save. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Ben's awesome game. See whiz stats. Load Ben's awesome game. Great. I'm going to quit. I'm going to restart this game. Uh, and hopefully it'll be full screen. Load saved game, Ben's awesome game. Oh yeah, look at this. Look at this. Oh shit, the witch. Oh my god. Yeah, fight this witch. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't with this fucking game. Uh... <laughs> I'm anting my pikeman for their clay statue. Those who enter the domain of the mighty black witch. Yeah, of course I'm dueling this witch. Oh yeah, now this is content. I don't know what this means that I win. Which won the toss and has chosen to draw first? This fucking Colossus of Sardia. <clears throat> but I gotta play on one, baby. Planes. Tundra Wolves. Go! Tundra Wolves is a one mana f one one with first strike. I'm done. I'm done. Swamp. Nothing? Oh my god. Play another planes. And tap two. For my Samite healer. Samite healer is a two mana one one. Oh, it's loud again. No, I turned it. I didn't even turn it down on the game. I turned it down on my GoXLR. Attacking you with my Tundra Wolves. Now it is your turn. This is how I feel playing this game. My head is cut off. I'm like this, trying to put it back on. It, man, magic art back in the day uh, is kind of messed up. It's kind of messed up. Planes. I'm going to attack you with my Samite healer and my Tundra Wolves. <laughs> You're finished. This game's over. There's no way you can win. Fuck, they drain life for one on my Samite here. I need to, like, find some white cards to put in this deck so that I'm not just drawing all these bad green cards with this Colossus of Sardia. Scavenger. I actually can't beat this card. Oh yeah, never mind. I can beat this card. I can beat this card up and down the street. Let's put... Oh wait, no! I know what I can do. Finally. Do you know how long I've been waiting to be able to do this again? Well, that's... that's confusing. <laughs> All right. Yeah, there we go. Lands in front, baby. Lands in front. Mm. Two, three, four. War Mammoth. Now, this card rules. It's a four mana three three with trample. And it's a mammoth. That's pretty good. 
Although their scavenging ghoul is pretty strong. If I can find another green, we can put regeneration on the war mammoth. And then there's nothing they can do. They're casting a second scavenging ghoul. Oh, never mind. They're actually dead. They're so dead. I drew white knight. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're, you're done, so. Sorry. Sorry, opponent. GG's. Sorry, opponent. GG's, shake my hand. GG's, witch, shake my hand. I drew white knight. White knight has uh, protection from black, which means their deck can't do shit. It cannot do a god dang thing. And now my war mammoth, mammoth is going to be able to regenerate? Oh, it's over. It's over. It's so over. Give me, you might as well just give me your uh, clay statue right now. The throne of bone. And a wall of bone to go with it? Oh, and we drew the Sarah Angel? Yeah, it's over. It's over. It's over. Sorry, everybody. Sorry, I wanted to make it a good game, but unfortunately, my opponent uh, has nothing for my white knight. And they certainly don't have anything for my Sarah Angel. Why are you over there? I gotta tell you... I did not expect this game to allow, like, why is it like this? Why is it that, like, I, the only thing I can think of is, like, kid picks. It feels like kid picks, but with a bunch of stamps that are all magic cards, you know? They put an unholy strength on their scavenging ghoul? Oh my God. Well, they're dead. Half of Cronus. I'm gonna take the cards. Somebody lied to me. Somebody lied to me in chat. They said, time stops when you're not moving. I wasn't moving. And this witch came out of nowhere? They anteed up the drudge skeletons. Also, did I just not take the cards? I'm so confused. I'm gonna kill this witch. That means I go first, right? Yeah, I'd like to play first. Oh my god, I drew the white knight. Yeah, it's over. Yep, sorry, GG. Sorry, buddy. And I have a Savannah Lions. Cracked. Savannah Lions is a one mana, two one. Any questions? Oh, Will the Wisp. A one, one mana O1 oh, flying that can regenerate. Unfortunately, I have drawn my white knight. And I am attacking you with my Savannah Lions. The Drudge Skeletons. A powerful magic card for sure. My opponent has like a regeneration deck. Like the kind of- why do I have a card that gives poison counters? Why do I have a card that gives poison counters? I'll trade this lion. If I trade lion for the drudge skeletons. Oh yeah, game over. Bad deal. Bad deal. Two mana card trading for my one mana card that already just did damage. Oh, it's over. They're drain lifing Rick Thickly? Oh. Okay. Okay, they give themselves one more turn. They give themselves one more turn. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. What if I attacked you with my white knight? What if I played a marsh viper? Uh, this is a uh, check. I have them in check. Clay statue. Oh my god, that beats out my my white knight. Oh my god. Oh, that's I'm, well. It doesn't actually beat up my white knight because this is first strike and they don't have regeneration mana. Um, 
I'm going to attack you with both. <laughs> Planes. I'm running out of space. I'm going to play my wall of swords. I don't want to overextend though, so I'm not going to play my shandage and dryads. My wall of swords. Uh, four mana, three, five wall. Yeah, they had no regen mana. They can drain life. My Marsh Viper. Maybe I should have played Channeled and Dryads to play around the drain life. Because they can't drain life my Marsh Viper for more than two. <sighs> I think I played too, too scared. I played too scared. You know, you get caught up, you're winning. You have an unbeatable board of White Knight and Wall of Swords, and you think that you're on top of the world, you know? But um, magic's a game that'll humble you. You know? It's not all, it's not all champagne and war mammoths. As much as I'd like it. Champagne and war mammoths would be a really good... Uh, that sounds like a Drake album if you started playing Magic the Gathering. Yeah, you can wall of bone. I'm going to wall of bone you. Like, uh, own you? Not, I'm, I'm not implying that I'm going to sleep with this witch. Cave of the Ice Worm? Time Twister. Library of Alexandria. Mishra's Workshop. I want the cards. Okay, hold on. I'm sick and tired of this Phyrexian Tower. I need to figure out how to do anything. Oh, that's crunchy. Oh, oh! Oh! Fuck, get into the town! Oh, dragons, uh... Oh, fuck, man. <laughs> that dragon came out of nowhere. The seer. Those who enter the domain of the mighty blue wizardess must pay for the privilege. You're just like the witch, but blue. Of course I'm not blue wizard. Wait a minute, there are merfolk shaman this entire time. What happened? Did they, wait, it said they summoned a merfolk shaman? Do they get to start the game with a merfolk shaman in play? I gotta cut this Colossus of Sardia. Merfolk of the Pearl Trident. I'm dead. I'm, de I'm so dead. Let me move these over here. I'm so dead. Oh, I'm fighting the merfolk shaman enemy instead of the seer. She sicked her minion on me. Lord of Atlantis? Oh my god, I'm gonna lose. I take two. Oh, Benelish hero. Okay, all right, never mind. We have a plan. Benelish hero? Holy armor. On the Benelish here. Now we've got a 1-3. And we can block their 2-2s. Two Never mind, they have unstable mutation. And they unsummon. Oh my god, I'm getting... I'm dead. I'm fucking dead. What happened to this power level? Is there a way to concede? There is. Yes, I'm sure. Oh, my holy strength. What the hell? Okay, I, I made it to the, the city. What do you mean food? <laughs> okay, hold on. What, what does it mean food? Also, is this farmstead? The card farmstead? I consume food in the overworld. You have to eat. 
If I eat food, I gain 30 life? Oh, there's a banana. Let me see how much buying cards are. You know... I don't know what I expected. 10 gold for an island? Okay, let's edit this deck. I don't want this Colossus of Sardia in my deck. I would rather have Clay Statue. <clears throat> can I have under, like I can have under 40 cards, right? No? So then I should play the Zerzus tag. I can begin a quest. Let's try this. Begin a quest. Take a green land spell east to the keeper of Shale Cliff Tavern. He will give you a mana link and one green amulet. What? Take a green land spell east. <laughs> Take a green land spell east to the keeper of Shale Cliff Tavern. He will give you a mana link and one green amulet. Accept the quest, never mind. Okay, couple of things. One, a green land spell? Lands aren't spells. Lands aren't colored as well. I assume this means a forest. So I have to take a forest to the keeper of the Shalecliff Tavern. I don't know what a mana link is and I don't know what a green amulet is. I'm gonna accept this quest. I have five days. Wait, there are days in this game? I guess I'll buy some food just in case. Wait, what? I wanted to buy 10 food for 15 gold. Why did it... Why did it soak up all my gold? Oh, the village. Oh! This, this game is a thing. Well, that looks like Teleria. Never more. Blue. More blue cards, huh? Made them good. Uh, I don't want to speak to the wise man. Oh no. No, I'm getting... Oh. The Undead Knight. Those who enter the domain of the mighty black wizard must pay for the privilege. You're anting up Bad Moon? And I'm anting up my War Mammoth? I mean, I'm going to fight you. What are you summoning? Is this you summoning something? Okay, I feel pretty good about this hand. Wait, we didn't even roll. We didn't roll, right? Like that wasn't decided? Did they just cheat? Oh, the knights have first strike. That's cute. That's cute. All right, I'll I'll let that happen. Here's my Samite healer. If we can untap with the Samite healer, it's pretty good against their drain lifes. Spirit Shackle. Whenever Enchanted Creature becomes tapped, put a zero, a minus zero minus two counter on it. Okay. I take it back. I'm never I'm never doing anything. Planes. This is just like unblockable, right? Damn, I'm not doing anything. Ooh, the vultures. Osai vultures. Two mana, one one flying. At the end of any turn in which a creature is put into any graveyard from play, put one carry encounter on it. It won't even let me expand the text box. Uh, remove two carry encounters from it. Gets plus one, plus one until end, of, until end of turn. Holy shit, that is a magic card. <clears throat> All right, Amro Kithkin. Get in there. Get in there. 
Vultures. Alright, my white weenie deck is popping off, chat. And if I get green mana, oh, it's over for them. I can slap a regeneration on this vultures. But I am drawing all these green cards. I have so many walls in my deck. Banned with one attacker. Yeah, banned with the Amro. This is where I... Uh... Oh, okay, well, that's a good draw. And it's the OG art. Uh, wait, hold on. Legal target attacking. Oh, after I choose to attack, I can't unattack. Very cool. Okay, they have a bad moon in play. It's pretty good with all their creatures. They got a Drudge Skellies. My planes is hiding behind. Uh, I'm going to put all the damage on the pikemen. So this is how banding works. I attack with this in a band. The Pikeman and the Amro Kithkin. My opponent blocked with their Drudge Skeletons, and normally they would get to assign the damage, right? They would get to assign where they put their two damage onto uh, my creatures, um, which would be able to go one and one, killing both my creatures. But because I'm attacking in a band, I get to have the Drudge Skeletons deal all the damage to my Pikeman here, uh, so that if something goes wrong, I still have my Amro Kithkin. We killed them. The Tower of Wind. A Black Lotus, a Mind Twist, and a Regrowth. Yeah, banding is a funny mechanic because it's become kind of a... It's become a meme, right? Um, it's not actually that bad. Like, it's... it's One of those things that it's, it's the... Uh, the specifics are a little difficult to grasp. And there are times where uh, it is just, like, oppressive. Like, that's funny to say, but, like, when if banding is good, it is just busted, right? Because you just get to set up these, like, no-win situations in combat, and it just makes things really awful. Also, Kiefer is in the background laughing at something that is presumably not what I'm talking about, but it's very funny that he started laughing right as I said, banding can be broken. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take the... Oh. Thank you. Uh, you are a skillful magician, says the undead knight. You get the first move. Okay, hold on. See the map. All right, I need to go... Is that me? Or is that me? Is this my quest? Oh, there's the cavern. Fuck, I'm going to the west. I assume I'm the... <laughs> I assume I'm the blinking dot. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'm going out west. This is classic Wheeler. I should have been going to the east. There's a graveyard. Wait, is that a tower? That's not the Phyrexian tower, is it? What is this? I got a planes! How do I edit my deck? Oh, a goblin's a, t a goblin. Watch out for that goblin. Am I at the edge of the world? Can I only edit my deck? Can I only edit my deck in a, uh, in a city? Okay. Sedge beast. Those who enter the domain of the... Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll do you. Do you. <laughs> I have no lance. I would like to mulligan. Sedge Beast will also take a mulligan.
Okay, this hand is trash. If we can cast Triskelion though, Triskelion is like a really good magic card. Like if I can get this trike down or if we can draw a forest, then, then we're great. I'd like to get rid of some of these green cards or get more white cards. Oh no. Iron Claw works. Legitimately scary. Hopefully my wall of swords will be able to block them, but I really don't want to lose my wall now. And a strip of... Oh, oh, holy shit. Holy shit. I got, I got stripped out. Oh. Iron Claw. Oh, and a second Iron Claw works. I'm genuinely dead. Like I am... Oh my god. Stop! Oh my god, I got strip mined into stone rain. I'm fucking dead. You won't do it again. Oh. Oh my god. What is this? Is this the tower? This is, oh, Pyrenean Tower? 70 gold for a vampire bats. What? All right, let's go out east. I need to find a place with uh, green cart. Get out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, my character's lagging. Stop chasing me. That looks like white cards. Where's this the village I was at before? Oh, thank Christ. Yeah, I want to buy I want to buy this basic planes. Hello? Hit Y? I can't believe I played shit. I didn't play this game when I was a kid. I played a lot of games like this, and I cannot believe it. How do I sell? 65 gold? Yeah. I might do an Urzatron deck, so maybe I'll keep this. How much Colossus of Sorcerers? Oh, uh, I'll, I'll add another Amro Kithkin to my deck. And a basic planes, and a basic planes. And I'll cut an instill energy. I mean, honestly, buying those cops might be worth it. A cab, but you know. I haven't. Cop blue might actually be good. Cops are. Circle of protections are, are broken. They are broken. Also, can I only have one quest at any given time? Fuck. Oh I want to go to here. I assume this will give me a land. Oh, yeah. Let's go back here and add that land to my deck. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to fight you. When did I get a pearl unicorn? Have I always had a pearled unicorn? I mean, I'm gonna fight. One quest at a time, okay. Cleric won the toss. Oh, this hand is actually good. What the hell? I'm going to actually lead with the forest and play the Shannadin Dryads. Because if they offer the trade, I'll take the trade. Never mind. My life is over. But I'm winning this race. They put up... Oh, Meekstone. This card is brutal. Meekstone says, Creatures of power three or greater do not untap during their controller's untap steps. 
Meek Stone is is wild. I mean, it probably doesn't it synergizes with their deck and doesn't do anything for us, but you know. Um, also, I have the counter to their Benelish hero in the form of this Samite healer. <laughs> oh god there's something there's something great about especially the art too because my brain just says like that's a beta swords to plowshares and they're just like yep get that fucking healer here get that get that get that semi dealer out of here you think they're going to attack me? Coward. Um, this butt breathing is actually pretty gross. I don't think I can beat it. I'm going to like... I'm going to have to like make a big attack and then Triskelion them to death. I have this clay statue. Oh, Thanos' weaponry? The original equipment. <laughs> Two mana to play. You can choose not to untap it. Uh, and then you tap it uh, for two. And it says target creature gets plus one, plus one. As long as it remains tapped. They targeted my Shannodin Dryads. Not to be rude, but my opponent is the worst magic player I've ever played against. And that's saying a lot. I play against us. Uh, uh, and I play against on the regular. Uh, yeah, there's no way you, there's no way you have it. There's no way uh, you have it. Do I want to attack in a band? If I attack in a band with this... I don't want to attack in a band. Use regeneration? No, I'm playing this war elf and I'm killing you. I have defeated the cleric. Will I take the cards? Take the dungeon clue. Jihad is legitimately a powerful magic card. I'm going to take Jihad. Okay. I'm going to add this planes. I'm going to add Jihad. I add holy strength. Uh, and then I'm going to cut regeneration and marsh viper and Shannadin dryads. Maybe I should actually add Colossus of Sardia now. This card can just one shot people. I don't have like the right. You know, cards. This is fine. What what did cards did you have? You had two cards. This looks like it might be a white city. Is that a tower hiding behind the tree? No, it's just another tree. Wait, that's a chaos orb. I'd know that thing from anywhere. Azar's crypt. Power struggle is in effect. During each player's upkeep, that player exchanges control of target random. Control of random target artifact, creature, or land they control for control of random target permanent of the same type an opponent controls. Okay, so this is a dungeon. This is this is not what I thought this game was gonna be. What is this? What the hell is this? I got a Samite healer! Let's go! I may want to save, you know what? How do I save here? Which of these spells has the flying ability? Shapeshifter, Elven Riders, Sisters of the Flame, Bird Maiden, Mishra's War Machine, Bird Maiden. Yeah. Should I exit and then come back? I can't save when I'm in. I got it. Oh, I got a Sarah Angel? Broken. Uh, carnivorous plant, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this dungeon save and then I'm gonna come back into the dungeon. 
or if I can, because there's some good stuff in there. There's also the, the tavern. Don't. Oh, it moved. You know what? People were talking about how I'm going to die. This is a learning experience. People were saying I was going to die. But I got a Sarah Angel. That's good. I'll take that. The people are pleased to receive the forest spell, not a spell. You're rewarded with a fine green amulet. Oh, it's a Mox Emerald. Buy cards and hints. The card seller suggests if you combine <laughs> if you combine this prodigal source card with the instill energy you already have, you can use it to deal two damage each turn instead. Oh, well, I'm buying a basic planes here. Need to, my deck is getting good. My deck is getting really good. Is there any way that I can like filter through these? No, it's just doing this. Hey, where'd my where'd my cards go? The cards are only temporary bonuses in a dungeon. I am I. I am ready to hit. I almost punched my screen. <laughs> you fucking kidding me? <sighs> Dude, this game sucks. <laughs> Defeat the sea dragon. Nope, that's not happening. Oh, I should save. Ben's awesome game. Did I save? Ben's awesome game backup. Oh, fuck! Into the town! Into. <laughs> Oh, I, I don't know if I can afford to lose my. <laughs> Those who enter the domain of the mighty white wizard will. I, uh... I think I'm just paying the gold and leaving, right? I saved either way. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to. All right, my hand's a little slow, but our cards are playable. We have a pretty good curve, pearled unicorn into clay statue, battering ram. Oh, the vultures, the vultures are pretty good. Pearled unicorn. It's a vanilla tutu. <clears throat> You're attacking me. White. The sounds are a little too loud. Here, how about this? The sounds are at my, my Go XLR has it at half volume. Oh, I can double click to auto cast, sick. Wait, shit, it's my turn? I almost time walked. <laughs> eye for an eye. Play only when a creature spell or effect assigns damage to you. Eye for an eye deals an equal amount of damage to the spell. <laughs> sure. That's, that's okay by me. Uh, yeah, let's get this clay statue down. Because the next turn I can keep up regeneration and play vultures and Benelish hero. <laughs> We are kind of screwed. We're kind of screwed if they play 
Um, I could attack with both and get two damage in. The game sound, the secret is sounds are loud no matter the volume. Yeah. Um, hmm. If I attack with both, they block here and I have to regenerate. They take two down to six. Then I play Vultures and Hero and they attack me down to five, presumably. Uh, I think it's good for me to attack here because I need to push damage. I have the bigger board and the higher power, so I think I can push damage here. Regenerate. And I'll play the hero and the vultures. Now, if we draw like Triskelion or anything, like big, a castle. Uh, I take one. Now that battering ram is so big, but I get to show off the strength of banding. Hey, check this shit out. I get to show off the strength of banding. Uh, I'm going to attack with the pearled unicorn, the Osai vultures, uh, the clay statue and the benelish hero and i'm going to attack as a band with my pearled unicorn so they block this and i get to assign all the damage to my unicorn and they lose their shit and oh the cast morale that's a good one three mana instant creatures get plus one plus one Rainbow Knights? Oh, this is a digital only card. This is alchemy before alchemy. Uh, two mana, two, one. When it comes into play, it gains protection from a random color permanently. Well, what, pro what protection did you get? From blue? I assume blue. Oh, I drew a Mesa Pegasus. Jar Jar Binks' favorite magic card. Oh, uh, don't band with shit. Don't band with anything. Get absolutely whooped. Get annihilated. Annihilated. Not even close. Taking the cards. Was I just here? Absolutely destroyed. Another, oh, and a disenchant? Okay. Yeah, give me that disenchant. Give me that pearl unicorn. Sell this. Sell this. Going mono white, baby. And still energy. Mana short? So much money. Um, I do need more planes in my deck. Do I want a holy armor and a holy strength? Could I add this disenchant and this pearled unicorn? Uh, don't think I want a wall. And I think I can cut... I mean, I could just cut this Colossus. It is a 9 drop. We're just... Pl we're, we're mono green... Or mono white splashing for war man. This is just like a classic. Does this. Defeat the shapeshifter which has been menacing our village. Return here, and I will reward you with three blue amulets. Yeah, I'll accept the quest. If three days... Where's the shapeshifter? Wait, what? <laughs> Newsflash! <laughs> that just... <sighs> what the fuck happened? Ooh, a dark ritual. Hey, I started at 11 now.
Oh, my hand sucks. I need to draw a land. I just, they forced me to keep a one lander. Oh, pff, never didn't have it. Get the Samite healer down so they can't drain life me. Somebody's laying siege somewhere. I mean, usually. Check out this combo. Pikeman? Holy strength on my pikeman. 2-3. Look at this. 2-3 first strike banding. Unbeatable. And I'm not attacked with the Sam I hear. Check the map once I get out of this duel. Okay. Well, they played the Wall of Bone. We're just runner runner on these lands. All right. So when Jihad comes into play, I choose a color. Anytime a target opponent controls no colors in play of the chosen color, you bury Jihad and all my creatures get plus two plus one. So right now it's not doing that much. But I bet I could trick the AI into... I mean, I'm not doing anything this turn. Sure. I bet the AI is going to block in such a way that preserves their card. Jihad. And even if they do, uh, even if they block the pikeman here, they're taking a lot of damage. Oh yeah, you dumb idiot. You, you stupid motherfucker. Look at that. I know how these nerds think. I know what makes them tick. Um. Let's go, Pikeman. Sarah Angel. Which processes? <laughs> so funny. Hmm, processing. Casting drain life? Targeting, wait, they're casting drain life targeting the scavenging ghoul? Oh, is there an untapped GG? Why is untapped GG active? Oh, they wanted to destroy Jihad? <laughs> Take the cards. Give me your cards. Wait, are you the shapeshifter? You are the shapeshifter. Those who enter the domain of the mighty blue wizards. I'm gonna duel the shapeshift. I might lose though, because they were worth a hundred gold. Oh, they're at 18 life. I'm screwed. Life first. Never mind. We can get in. Look at this. I'm in under your counter spell. I'm dead. I'm so dead. Oh my god, they have a real deck. So dead. And I missed my I missed my card on two. Yeah. Unbelievably dead. Oh. I mean their turn two is animate factory hit me for two. I guess I'm at like ten life. All right, my, my hope is that I, oh my God. They animated their mistress factory and they put an unstable mutation on it. And they hit me for five. Um, yeah, you know what? I'll keep, I'll keep this Beto Shiro on the back. I'll keep it back. I bet I can maybe get there with Sarah Angel. 
Oh shit. Unsummon my Veneralish hero. They animated their Mishra's factory, put another unstable mutation on it. I'm fucking dead. <laughs> no, my bike bin! This game sucks. I don't think I can beat that shapeshifter. Yeah, appreciatively. This game sucks appreciatively. Ooh, is that a graveyard? Nether Shadow? Oh, I just get stuff from walking over like specific- Oh, there's the shapeshifter. No, there's the shapeshifter! Get out of there! Zephyr Village. If you combine this Howl from Beyond with the Amaru Kethkin you already have, you can surprise your opponent with your little 1-1 one -one creature suddenly howling more damage to them than they originally... Originally... <laughs> You know what would actually be a really good bit? Is becoming a YouTube, like, or no, not YouTube. Uh, becoming a Magic the Gathering TikToker, and all you do is just give Shondalar advice. Like, they're really like, hey, a lot of people don't know this, but if you actually combined your Howl from Beyond with your Amro Kithkin that you already have, you can surprise your opponent with your little 1-1 creature suddenly howling more damage to them than they originally. With just like fucking chandelier music in the background and like a chicken sound effect and the anvil. Thanks, dude. Oh, flying carpet. Flying carpet's legit. I'm gonna buy this flying carpet. Flying carpet, I have a little bit of a beef for it, though. Because look at this card. Wait, hold on. It's the errated version of flying carpet? I'm gonna play flying carpet. Cut this war mammoth. Don't cut this war mammoth. I probably don't need 18 lands. I bet I could go down to this. Play Eye for an Eye. Play Colossus of Sardia. Play this Wall of Swords again. What do you mean 39 cards? Wait, now I'm at 41 again? Oh, it's probably just um, a really bad program. Okay. Um. Oh, I don't want to go back into the city. Should check the map. Somebody said check the map. Oh, there's a. That's where the thing is going on. The Blood Sand Glade. Cold Snap Glade. This is a big map. A graveyard. Swamp. A graveyard. Swamp. Is this just how you grab basic lands? I'm going into that orb. Oh my god, that witch is so fast. You are so... You are so fast. Oh my god. Oh my god. To the town! <laughs> Ooh, splash. The evil red wizardess taps Blood Sand Glade. She needs two more mana taps. Oh my god. I, wait, 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 wait. Oh, why were they? Why was there like a sh why was there a shadowy council? Oh my god, I'm almost dead. Why was there a shadowy council? Uh, oh, karma. Two hundred and twenty-five gold for karma. I could farm the people playing black though. 
I'm gonna buy this card. I'm not gonna buy it, but I'll buy Karma. I want to get to this orb. Oh fuck! She cut me off. She cut me off. Yeah, I'll fight you. Uh, yeah, I get to start. I get a white knight in play. Uh oh, Zephyr Falcon. That's pretty good. Attack me with the Zephyr Falcon. Oh, very yeah, good good call. Unsummon my White Knight in uh, your combat step. If they play another Zephyr Falcon, I might be in trouble. But well, we drew a Benelish hero. Okay. My opponent's playing one of those like tempo decks that somebody brings to like a like a stand. <laughs> a time elemental. <sighs> That's good. What does this do? It's only to me, right? Whenever a creature spell or effect. Attack with this Benel Shield. <laughs> they traded with their bird. Hey, Chad, I got a quick question. Um, so... Can you have, is there a, like a max four of rule? Or can your deck contain like 80 unsummons or dark rituals? All right, you're about to feel the power of uh, Triskelion. <laughs> oh, Rick Thickly. Yeah. Spell chain. What is this, Yu Gi Oh? Boom. I bet this dumbass is going to unsummon my trike. <laughs> Crystal Rod. Take that. I'll play the Pegasus. And I'll play a Flying Carpet. Just in case. Okay, so yeah, this now says... This is the OG flying carpet. If that creature is put into the graveyard this turn, you bury flying carpet. Very weird. I, I only bring it up because they have two, there were two different versions of flying carpet that they showed. Like we, we saw the uh, other one. My son summons. Oh! Dual land alert. Oh my god. We got a tropical island. Take the cards. You are a skillful magician, says the seer. Get into the orb. Part 300 gold. You know what? I just realized we've been doing this for an hour and a half. I need to take a very quick commercial break. Uh, and then when we come back, we're going to continue being the best Magic the Gathering player in the world. Uh, so don't go away. We will be right back and I'll make sure to leave you with that beautiful music.
This this game. This game. Hold on. There we go. And we're back. Um Okay, well oh, I can save from here. Okay, great. I don't I it's Oh not the shapeshifter. There's no way. I lose my jihad if I if I lose. Oh, and look at this fucking hand. This is come for winning. No factory on one, that's nice. No ivory tower. They hundred percent are gonna oh fell war stone. Yeah, they have really magic points. Well, well, well. Actually, hold on. I should I should save this for a mistress. Oh, please tell me. I'm I'm gonna burn No, I'm gonna mana burn for two! No <laughs> Fuck. I was gonna save this for a mistress factory and then I was like, oh shit, right. Magic the Gathering. No, I can't wait for this to get unsummoned or counterspell. What do you think, chat? Unsummon or counterspell? Uh, I'm not blocking. Maybe I should have blocked it because that's a time when I... For each one damage dealt to you by enchanted creature, backfire deals one damage to that creature's controller, and you're putting it on my wall. Great. That's what we love to see. We just need to, we need the AI to make more decisions like that. And I think we're fine. Oh, Hercules recall. What kind of horse shit is that? Also, why does it feel like I draw nothing but lands? Is there like, does the game cheat? Like, is it not? Randomized? They're playing Primal Clay. Oh no, it's a flyer. Wait, this has flying. It's all point. I, yeah, not to blame Shuffler. Oh. Oh my god, they're gaming out of their fucking mind. Well, I'm going to block their factory and take five here. This is going to get a little weaker. How many unstable mutations have they played now? One, two, three, four. They played four unstable mutations. Good noise. Oh yeah, we're we're coming around on this game. I can feel it. Here, I'm gonna very proudly put my wall of swords up front, while the boys are hanging out in the back. The lads, the absolute lads. Chilling in the back. Oh, interesting. You ain't got shit now. Also, I also don't have shit. Play statue, get in there. What? What? Yeah. I want to regenerate. 
How do I regenerate? Do I have to do it like this? Oh, there we go. Also, the mana doesn't empty. Mana, em no, 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 it's okay. Mana empties differently back in these days. That much I know. That's, don't worry. <laughs> it's a regeneration is a separate step. Yeah, I can add the mana and then go to the next one and yeah, don't worry about that. Um, yeah. <laughs> Whenever a creature's spell or effect assigns damage to you, it deals damage equal to the source's controller. They're attacking me with this. I'm going to block with my follow of spirits. That's it. I'm on the offensive here. Oh no, oh come on! Oh, I shouldn't have attacked my Samite healer! Wait, are they letting me untap? No, please. Please, I'm begging you. Fuck, 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 fuck! I was trying to put lethal on the board! Ugh. Fuck my Jihad. This game is cruel. Oh my god. I don't know what you are, but get out of here. Holy crap. That's a not okay magic card. You happen upon a... What? I happen upon a what? I can buy... I have no money. I have no money. Yeah, I have no money. It's hard for me to differentiate uh, some of the cards on the ground here. So another shadow. Like, what's going on? Our deck's cooking. I get out of here. Oh. I'll I'll fight this edge. <laughs> I think this hand can beat them. Oh yeah. Got an Amro Kithkin into like holy armor plus Savannah Lions. Cyclopean mummy. Ooh, another Amro Kithkin. I'm attacking you with my Amru Kith. Your Cyclopean money. Good mummy. Good trade. I played two more creatures. Now what? You're going to stone rain me? Yeah, you are. You. Um, put the holy armor on my Savannah Lion so I can attack into their uh, Iron Claw orcs. Or brass Claw orcs. If we haven't, they might have Iron Claw Orcs, who knows? Erg Raiders? Oh, I love Erg Raiders. Erg, 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 Erg Raiders. Holy shit, why was saying that so difficult? Erg Raiders rules. Oh, they're casting Fissure. 
Five mana, classic red card. Five mana, destroy target creature. Or land, instant speed. Uh, yeah. Graveyard order? Oh, I'm good. Uh, actually, hold on. I should play the Wall of Swords here. We got a game. I want to play the Wall of Swords because if I draw a land, I can just play Sarah Angel, Stone Ring. Wait. Elite? No, I know. Why? Why is my Wall of Swords clipping into my opponent's board? Get the fuck over here. Yes, I'm done! Come on, you can't have the masks disenchant here. You can't attack how the Iron Claw works. Uth didn't troll. Uth didn't troll is pretty good. Pikeman. God, I really want to organize my board just a little bit. Just a little bit. Game. Oh, the perfect disenchant target. Oh, I have no mana. Right, I cast one. Yeah, nice. Game. They, pff, they like need to just kill my wall of swords, but instead they're just stone raining me. <laughs> That's stone rain number four. All right, they strip vine me, and we had stone rain number four. Fuck that off magic. Ooh, immolation. That kills my bike there. Oh, yeah. Game's over. Game's over. I drew a flyer. Game's over. As long as they don't immolate my Mesa Pegasus. You're Erg raiders in me? We're just gonna block here. I don't wanna lose my Wall of Swords to burn. Or an Immolation. Although maybe the... Maybe they're not good enough to do that. You know? I might eye for an eye this Erg raiders. Another one. Oh, it's, it's, yeah, it's done. It's done. It's over. I have a, I have a pearled unicorn. It's, it's, it's done. You're done. I'm done. Like, I might take advantage of the AI attacking with this over and over again. Oh, Diabolic Machine. Still gets blocked by Wall of Swords. <laughs> oh, wait, they're at four? 
No, wait, no, this is good. They fissured. Is this going to work the way I want it to? Choose blocks. Fast effects. Eye for an eye, baby. Hmm. The next... Wait, what? How does this card work again? Me? That. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Play when a creature deals damage to you. Oh, I have to be dealt damage. I see. Now can I do it? <laughs> now can I do it? <laughs> now can I do it? <laughs> I fuck now can I do it oh my god this game stinks <laughs> when can I do it game oh damage floats as a cars Oh, it was literally under my hand? <sighs> Man, I hate this game. White Knight. Block this. Am I just dead? I'm just fucking dead. I, I'm on tilt. I'm on tilt. I'm on tilt. I'm on... I'm, I'm, I'm save scumming. I'm on tilt. I'm on tilt and save scumming. I'm on tilt and save scumming. <laughs> Oh, grape shot cannibal? Two damage target creature. This is a wall though, right? Or no, you're not a wall. It's hard to tell when you're <laughs> text boxes. <laughs> it's hard to tell when your text box is covered. Can't attack unless I pay an additional three. Ooh, brainwash. <laughs> I think I need more money. <laughs> I like Karma. Probably better than it's Colossus, honestly. Okay. A band card? What do you mean? All right. No, no, no. I thought there was a ship over here. There is. Okay. You happen upon a... What is the total cast cost of Sengir Vampire? Five. I get, I get an acid rain. See, chat, the problem is... Oh, I'll do it with you. The problem is you're trying to look at oracle text. It's not about what the card actually does. It's about what the card does in this era. <clears throat> My Savannah Alliance for their Mana Vault. I will get this Mana Vault. Shit. Tap it. Tap it. My white weenie deck is poised to beat my opponent's mono blue deck. I have a pretty good curve here. I went one drop, two drop, three drop. It's pretty incredible. And I have a four drop? Nice. Yeah. 
They could Triskelion in me and it'd be pretty bad. Oh. Do you think the AI is going to know that it can blow me out here? Probably. Oh, but we got mana vault damage. <clears throat> okay, so there's gonna reach a point where I'm going to eye for an eye my opponent. I deal with this Triskelion. Ooh. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, I should probably clay statue. They have a Mishra's factory, by the way. Targeting my clay statue? I don't think so. Activate my regeneration. They didn't want to do it again. Oh no, not Urza's Avenger. Yeah, you, uh, you've killed my clay statue. Holy armor on my pearled unicorn. This is fucked up. My opponent has rares. I could maybe attack with the pearl. No, this doesn't work. I have an 11 turn clock. I think we could maybe get there. Yeah, you can kill my Kithkin. Oh. They hit me with the hold priority. And they're booting up the factory? I'm taking... Okay, okay, okay. So I'm not blocking here. And here, I get to eye for an eye. That's why there was a big... Uh, why my I was showing up here. And the four... Okay. Okay, I got them. I figured it out. I didn't realize that there was a tiny Rick Thickly underneath. Oh my god. Uh, I'm not going to get greedy. I'm not going to get greedy. I'm not going to get greedy. Oh. Wait. I'm going to kill your Triskelion. And then I'm going to shoot you. Twice. As long as we don't die this turn. Which we might. I'll take five. All right, one time no counter spell. One time no counter spell. One time no counter spell. Please, please, please. They're giving it flying. Oh yeah. One, two, three. And we gotta go to the. They're dead. The next one. Ah. Ah. Bow down. Ah, <laughs> give me these cards. Wait, okay, so where do I need to go? Celestine Village. Fuck, the Nether Fiend. Oh, but I have a Karma. Well, this is gonna be fun. I didn't even get to add the card to my deck. I'll deal with the Nether Fiend. I have a Karma and I have a White Knight. So I think I'll be fine. I just need to draw it. Uh, start the duel. 
And I've got this cop green. <laughs> but they're probably gonna put like paralyze on my Mesa Pegasus. Or terror my Mesa Pegasus. I think it's paralyzed. Black Knight. We have some absolute haymakers against them. Even this clay statue's gone really good. Although, oh, they have the terror on my clay uniform. I mean, clay statue against Black Knight's not the best thing in the world, but you know. It can at least block. They all have Mistress Fighters. Soul Net. I'll take it. Taking two. Erg Raiders. Nice, we drew Flying Carpet. Um... Yeah. They're activating the Mistress Factory. Well, they had two? I didn't even see that they had two. This goes here. And this... Actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. This goes... Can I not move after I click the blocks? Fuck, man. I wanted to block their assembly worker. Yeah, I'll use the regeneration. Okay. No takesies backsies. So I have to be very careful about the decisions that I make here. I think I have to keep these up. They're activating their factory. They're playing another fiend. We know another shadow. Hey, this thing has haste. Didn't I? Wait, when did they play a third one? Oh. Oh my what? Right, I just chump blocked. That's what I did. Sorry. In my head, I was like, I took this in action. What do you mean mana burn lose to? I act... I activated the... <laughs> oh, a little fucking late. Oh, God damn it. I lose my karma. I paid 275 gold for that karma. This game sucks. You happen upon a... You encounter a warlock warily guarding a horde of valuable spells. Will you leave quietly or duel... Whoa, mind twist. Uh, I'm gonna leave. There's no way something that good is being guarded by something I can defeat. It'll take some getting used to, but I imagine once I remember what, you know, the, the game actually gives a shit about and how to sequence my cards, it'll be a little bit better. I got, when did I get a Tetravis? Yo, get this Tetravis in here. Get this cop green out. I've yet to play against a green creature. Wait, I didn't actually get rid of the cop. So I have to return to Celestine Village. Which is... It's over here somewhere, right? It's like here? A neck 
necromancer. The evil black wizard sent his most trusted servant to test her strength. You must duel this necromancer. Okay. I guess I have to. I'd like to play first. I'll, this hand rules. You start with a will-o'-wisp in play? That's not fair. Attacking you with my tundra words. They regenerated. Hike man, go forth. Attack. Nice. Pushing damage. Pushing big damage, folks. Yeah. I'm trying to... You hear that? This might be the perfect magic game. Potentially better than Arena. Scathe Zombies. Uh, Scathe Zombies is pretty gross. Gotta put a Holy Strength on my Pearled Unicorn. And I'm going to go to combat. Tundra Wolves and Pikemen attacking as a band with Tundra Wolves. And this pearled unicorn. So much damage. Benelish hero. Zombie monster. Ooh, mana vault. That's not bad. Um... Oh, how does banding work with multiple things with banding? Uh, I forgot if I could attack in a way where I can make a band with any number of banding creatures and one non-banding creature. I think that's how that works. So I can go to, uh, go to main phase combat. So I can go Tundra Wolves. Vanilish Hero, band with this, Pikeman, band with this, and then Pearled Unicorn. And then they don't have a good block. Now I'll play a Mana Vault. I could play Clay Statue here, but I think I want to resolve this touch of this. Unholy Strength? Oh my god, I might just go with that action. Hold up. Drain life? Oh, they drain life my pike. Okay. That's fine. Starting off with a will o' the wisp is really rude. I'm going to attack you. Uh, attacking here doesn't even do anything. Unless I attack with two. Like, I'm just dead to drain life, right? I shouldn't have attacked. I keep forgetting there's no undo. I legitimately, my brain is like, this is magic online. Like, I'm not kidding. My brain is like, it's magic online. I will play my Tetravis. Uh, six mana, four, four flyer. During my upkeep, I can move uh, each of these one, one counters off of it to make a one, one tetravite token with flying. <laughs> and they're animate deading my pikeman. Uh, I will block with my tundra wolves. Play a planes. Go to attacks. 
attack you with my Tetravis in the air. Right, this is flying. I'm dead. I'm dead. I can't win. I can't win. I can't win. Even going wide, I can't win. It wasn't happening. If I make all these tokens... Oh, I could... Uh, I actually might still win. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, we might be fine. I forgot Will the Wisp has fly. <laughs> Gotta tell you, it's been a long time yeah. since I played against this card. Evil Presence. No! The Evil Presence, yo! The Evil Presence, it didn't matter. Didn't fucking matter. The Evil Presence, I landed to a swamp and they swamp walked to victory. This sucks. No! <laughs> I will pay 90 gold. Please leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Oh. My deck. Oh, guess I'm on cop black again. Or cop green. No, I'll just add Colossus of Sardia. Where did that, it came out of nowhere. Oh! The gold mine. Ha, <laughs> 250 gold for conversion. Fuck off. Oh my God. How much does acid rain sell for? Oh, wait, hold on. 300, oh, easy money. Oh my God, easiest money of my life. Yeah, get this Thought Lace out of here, too. Buy these cards. Mesa Pegasus? Bought. Mesa Pegasus? Bought. Pearl Unicorn? Bought. Alright, never mind. Never mind. Everything I said about my deck not being good, about my deck being ripped apart, I was lying. If this deck gets a Crusade or, like, more White Knights, we are, we are cruising. We are crushing. Uh, I'm not gonna take eye for an eye because I don't trust myself or this game. And uh, Costless of Sardia costs nine mana. Oh, I have to take out one more. Um, Wall of Swords is not bad on the defense, but I'm gonna get rid of this Wall of Swords. Okay. I gotta... I have to find this village. I don't know where the Celestine village is. The people of Celestine village are sorry for... Are sorry their quest. The people of Celestine village are sorry their quest. I failed them. I couldn't find the fucking city quick enough. You happen upon a... For one red amulet, I will reveal the deck of any blue creature. Never mind. What? That's collusion, dude. That's not cool. Oh no. Unicorn's what? Village. Ah, uh, classic Unicorn's Village. Dark Ritual Rag. Pestilence is a mess. I mean, do we pivot? Do we pivot to Pestilence? I feel like I want to stick with this white weenie tip, but like... Pestilence, you know? Take this message north to my brother, the keeper of the Shale Cliff Temple. He will reward you with a blue amulet. Yeah, okay. You have four days. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, that's a lot of shipwreck. You happen upon a... Chat, what do amulets do? Hey chat, what do amulets do? You can trade them for cards of that color. Oh, it's a wild card? I'll buy another white amulet. Where do I trade them? You happen upon a, another... I don't have any gold. They aren't wild cards. I'll find... Newsflash! Black Wizard sends an undead knight to attack Cold Snap Glade!
We're at the Cold Snap Village. Uh, where's the Cold Snap Clay? Get the fuck out of here, you wizard. Pikeman. I will buy a Pikeman, and I'm gonna buy Cop Blue. I'm gonna use that Cop Blue. I, I have to find this temple. Unicorns village. Oh! I didn't mean to make that noise. I didn't mean to make that noise. You gotta believe me. You gotta believe me. I didn't need to make... That map does not work. Don't give me that shit. Have you seen this map? It's terrible. Alright, let's buy this white knight. Yo, our deck is... Our deck is... Hopping off now. I will play the cop blue at some point. Um... Okay, I'm gonna need to save after this. Two white knights. Wow. What a, what a world to live in. This flying carpet might be too much. Um, and. Clay statue's okay. I can maybe rock 15 land. Samite healer. Tundra Wolves. First Strike's really good with Banding. I'm gonna cut this in. Right Save. New White. Look at this map. There's the Shale Cliff Tavern, but I have to go to what? Shale Cliff Temple? Is the temple at the tavern? What does this mean? Oh. Is also on the map east of me? Oh, it's right down here. <laughs> I stand, I stand by my statement. You were unnecessarily snappy. I'm going over here. Actually, you know what? Maybe I just give up this quest and go to the Cold Snap Blade. Alright. Ooh, another shipwreck? Oh, no. Get, get the fuck out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get to the temple. Oh my god, three of them. Get out of here. Get the fuck out. Why are you so fast? Warlock. Those who enter the domain of the mighty black wizard. Mono black? Hell no, dude. You're gonna get white knighted into the dirt. And if I had my karma... I didn't draw a white knight. I'm, I'm dead. I lost. It's over. Oh, do I need food? Did I... Boot? <laughs> Holy shit. Do I need food? Uh, I want my Amro Kithkin to get killed by your tour. Combat with my Amro Kithkin. Mesa Pegasus. Is there somewhere where you can download this game? Uh, yeah. You can download it from... Gabby Sparts has a good video about downloading it and how to install it. Uh, from the other streamers that I talk to, that's just the one that they use. I play Jihad. I bet I can get them to block. Oh, 
I do lose my Jihad, but they played a Hypnotic Spectre. And I don't think I can beat that magic card. Drain life on my tongue. Ooh, a trike. Get in there, Amro Kithkin. Another Amro Kithkin. I'll play Holy Armor on my Amro Kithkin. I would like to cut this Holy Armor or something. Drain life targeting that. Hell yeah. Activate my holy armor. You dumb asshole. <laughs> you idiot. They tried to kill. They tried to kill my Amro kid, kid but I had the holy armor. There was nothing they could do. Yeah, Jihad is just banned from magic. Like, it's one of the uh, cards that is banned for cultural sensitivity. You know, that thing that wizards did, uh, and then they didn't actually commit to beyond the initial group, because, um, you know, they're like, well, now people don't care about this as much. Very cool. Uh, I can attack with my go main phase attack with this and attack with you banding with my ammo kithkin this is this is a combo by the way oh. also i'm gonna lose my triskelion and i hate it but lose the brakes hippie oh fuck Howl from beyond? Take four, idiot. Oh, Rick Thickly took four damage. And I lost my trike. El Hajaj! Oh no! El Hajaj is legit. I'm going to attack. With Pearl Unicorn, Amro Scout, or Amro Kithkin, Amro Kithkin plus Benelish Hero. I'll trade. Yeah, it, this is a good trade for me. I get to kill their El Hajaj and their Pit Scorpion. Nice. They do gain one from uh, the El Hajaj. But. Um, am I dead if their last card is, I'm dead if their last card is Hal from Beyond or Drain Life I am going to block I think I want to block I don't want to die to some random play the Vultures pre-combat I don't want to I don't want to don't want to die to an X spell Oh, let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Okay, so let me let me run this down again. So I can take these cards, which is mostly what I've been doing. However, like, does the clue do anything other than like it doesn't help me find these caves? It's just the clue is here so that I can, like, if I run into this cave, I know that these cards are there, but it's already telling me. The terminology for clue is a little goofy. It tells you where it is and what's in the cave. Oh, it tells me what's in the cave. I'm gonna, for this one, I'm gonna take these cards. If I run into one that has like black lotus or like pearl, I'll take it. The skillful magician says, uh, the warlock. You are a skillful magician, says the warlock. Dark ritual. Great. 
a dark ritual. Any more goodies at the Unicorn Village? Oh, I'm almost out of food. I clicked once. <laughs> Why? Oh, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, fuck. Get out of here. No, 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 no. Wait, is this like a mushroom in the ground? No, it's... No, 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 no. Newsflash, the evil black wizard taps Cold Snap Glade. He needs two more men and it's taps to cast. What? What, what is this? What is this? What, what is, what is this? I, I assume that those are like the five colors of mana, but you know. Oh, another disenchant and a wait. Do I need another basic points? I'll buy a disenchant. Uh, where's the where's the castle again? In relation to me, or the temple, up and to the left. Okay. Where did you come from, a conjurer? I guess I have to fight. Start of the duel. I'd like to play first. Don't really want to lose my jihad, but you know. Same things, excuse me. I've got hiccups. This, is, this game's making me too excited. Like <clears throat> Embarrassing grown man gets hiccups playing Chandelier. I got too excited. Cast Mesa Pegasus. I could go in on Holy Strength for more damage, but I don't know. They have, like, unsummons and stuff. Prodigal Sorcerer? We're dead. My, my whole deck loses to this card. Oh, why am I... Hey, Pegasus. All I can do is try to overwhelm them. I'm gonna try to overwhelm them. <clears throat> yeah, the main phase, killing my pikemen. Nice play. Nice play, jerk. Little did you know, now I can safely set up a holy strength on my Mesa Pegasus. Wall of Water. And a White Knight? Yeah, it's over. They don't have Attack. 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 Band with this. Shit. I forgot how banding works for a very first split second. I can arrange in the menu. Assuming I can do it without it. Uh... I, I right clicked and it um, crashed the game. Oh! Unsummon and a... Arrange my cards. I can't beat this. I need to draw like Prodigal Sorcerer. <clears throat> I 
And they had the unsummon. It's wild how bad creatures were back in the day. Like, not even just, like, the quality. Oh, yeah, what the fuck? They have a pirate ship? They have two pingers. I actually don't know if I can beat this. I need trike. Like, I need exactly Triskelion. Although they did waste the ping. They pinged my White Knight and then just didn't do anything. Yeah, White Knight's great. I, I don't necessarily mean the quality of the creatures as much as I end up in pirate ship. They shot me. Oh my god, I figured out my weakness. It might not shoot my flyer. Uh, I more meant just like... Unsummon Swords to Plowshares, Lightning Bolt, Terror. <laughs> like, even stuff like Prodigal Sorcerer on a more, like, uh, you know, Balance, Wrath of God, <clears throat> Island Sanctuary, even. This is fine? Yeah, I'm, I'm so fucked. I'm just going to play a series of magic cards out, and hopefully my opponent doesn't know what to do. My opponent's deck is cracked. Mono blue pingers? How do I do anything? And a rod of ruin? <laughs> oh my god. Unbeatable, by the way. Unbeatable. <laughs> Steel and the steel artifacts are like. Yeah, I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. I need, I need Triskelion. Like. <laughs> Come on. I, I don't even have the land to play Trike. I really need a crusade for this deck. I've had enough. I've had it. I've had enough. I lose my jihad. No. Where do I go? How do I get away? How do I get away from any of this shit? Oh my god, I'm cornered. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm... I'm like, I can't get out. I have no money. I mean, I can sell some cards. Oh. Okay. Okay. That's all right. I can maybe get, like, we can maybe weave around. This feels like a match I can win. Wow, this, this game is, a, is cool. Mesa Pegasus. They didn't. Drain life me? Wow. You gonna drain you gotta drain life me for one. Oh hell El Hijaj? Unbeatable. Never mind, we drew the counter. We drew the El Hajaj counter. I'm gonna play both my El Hajaj counters. My strike. Target creature with power two or less is unblockable this turn. Oh my god, they have the they have the combo. They had the El Hajaj Thanos' wand combo. That's incredible. Just get in. 
At least I'm going to make them do it, you know? Make them spend their mana. <clears throat> I want this on a playmat. I, I want these, like, Merc Dwellers. Ooh, the classic Drew Tuck. Um, I, I want this, all these, like, <laughs> boards on playmats. I'm surprised they haven't done that yet. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Pegasus, Pegasus. You, and then bandwidth. Both side vultures. Merc dwellers? Nah. I could die. They could just, like, Dark Ritual Drain Life me. Never mind. They, uh, did not. Bird. 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 Ban with the vultures. Ban with the other bird. Tundra wolves. With the pikemen. Did you shake my hand? Oh, chaos lakes. The ruins of Su Chan? I mean, I gotta take this. I'm taking the dungeon clue. Berserk and Mox Pearl? This is all I want. Contains, wait, contains small red creatures. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Get to the town. Get to the town. Oh, no, not my Sarah Angel, please. Oh my God. <laughs> This game's harder than playing on the Pro Tour. <laughs> this is... This is fucking impossible. This is fucking impossible. Oh, I too enjoy raiding. Uh, I don't have a good attack here. But I do have a pearled unicorn. Um, like there's no way that they, uh, I'll do this. I'll take this trade. Assigned it. Oh, cause I, I have banding, right? Cyclopean Mummy. Powerful magic. Band with the hero. Amro Kithkin. Like, I could go for some more white knights. Yeah, you can stop. Yeah, banding is legitimately strong. Like... It is legitimately strong uh, if what you're doing is playing creatures and tapping an attack. Like, you're just attacking and blocking. It's uh, not good. Not good for your opponent. Featured. All right. If I can get away uh, without losing a land next turn, the big trike comes down and they're, they're screwed. Never mind, they put two LED effects. <laughs> also, look at- hold up. Look at this dragon. Look at this dragon. I just realized. There's no- It doesn't have hind legs. It looks like a chicken. <laughs> Classic, yeah, classic AI art. Oh. oh my god. Stone rain, kill your thing. Really, 
is so funny. It is so funny. Just how did this game ever take off? <laughs> oh, sick. I could disenchant the blight. Oh, that's so strange. You had nothing? Double Mox and a Demonic Tutor? Oh, but there's a Greed. That's so many cards. I'm going to take the Dungeon Clue. Life loss carried over power struggle permanently in effect. Okay, so we got some dungeons. We got some Dungeon Clues. Okay, let me, let me sell all these cards. I kind of want to keep the Colossus of Sardia because I have a deck I want to build. I'm going to sell these Dark Rituals too. Yeah, I've got a, I got a deck that I want to build. I should keep these extra cards. <clears throat> wow, I'm broke, huh? Okay, I still need to get to the fucking temple. Show me the map. Okay, I need to up and to the west. No! <laughs> I happen upon... Which of these blue spells requires one mana and zero colors to cast? It's unsummon. I get an elder spawn. To the temple! To the temple! Quick! Get to the temple! Get to the temple! Oh, can I not? Because there's water. Oh my god. I thought it was just the ocean. Fuck. Merfolk Shaman. I will duel this Merfolk Shaman. <laughs> I will play first. There's no- the shaman ain't shit, right? Like this- this merfolk shaman's gonna have nothing. Get this pega, base pegasus thing. Although if they unsummon my wolves, then I should have maybe not attacked. Life tap. Whenever any forest target opponent controls becomes tapped, I gain one. Oh, okay, they gain one. Me. Um, play my man of all, and I'll play my Amro Kithkin. Boom. The next turn I can uh, touch this. This costs six, right? Yeah, we're good. Tetravis. Yeah, they might have a magical hack in their deck. Like that explained, they were going to trade me a magical hack or they anti the magical hack, excuse me. Trade. <laughs> okay, hold on. It doesn't even, do I have to set a stop? Oh, I do have to set a stop. I assume this is upkeep. I didn't realize I had to set a fucking stop. What did I just install magic online? <laughs> I think we're fine. Ooh, give me a side blast. You're a skillful magician, says the Merfolk Shaman. Merfolk at the Pearl Trident. Nice. Okay. Get to the temple. Get to the temple. Get to the temple. We got one day. The keeper is pleased to receive his brother's letter. You are rewarded with. With what? Wait, what were we rewarded with? Next duel, Merfolk of the Pearl Trident? That's what I get? My reward is that the next duel, I get a Merfolk of the... 
before I get an ambulance. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, you know, I don't want to say that I'm the best Chandelier player currently online. But it's starting to look like it. It's getting a little difficult to dodge the allegations, you know? It's getting a little, little difficult. Um, boy, all those things. Probably don't need two Amro Kifkins, considering how bad all the creatures are, but uh, let's do that. Uh, okay. I... And probably, yeah, we got 10 minutes. Save? No. Sarah Angel 2, I'm the best. Okay, where's... Where's a dungeon? find the dungeons. Wasn't it supposed to show me <laughs> where the dungeons are? <laughs> oh, I have to read the clues. Oh, that's a that's a merfolk. Begin a quest. I, there's no way I'm defeating a dragon. How do I... How do I read my clues? You'll have to excuse me, but... Um... On the dungeon icon on the left. Oh, I see. That's not the one I want. I want... Yeah, I guess I want that one. Oh, I want this one. The Tower of Wim? Contains small black creatures. So now that I've read it, I need to have the third clue. Oh. All right, one, one for the road for it to appear on the map. I see. Okay. I'm starting to get it. Oh, that's what I get. I just... Wait, why do I start with a Merfolk of the Pearl Trident in play? They cast a Merfolk of the Pearl Trident? And I get to attack with mine right away? Oh, busted. Nice. Lord of Atlantis. I'm going to lose to this Lord of Atlantis. Unstable mutation. Yep. Oh, I'm going to have the blowout, though. I'm going to have a sick blowout. I'm not going to attack. Fuck. It's still a blow. Hmm, interesting. Well, it'd be a shame if I cast Disenchant on your unstable mutation. Destroying it. Fuck. I could have waited one more turn. And then it gets an additional counter on it, but um, they unsummoned my creature. And now I can trade with the Venomous Hero, anyways. But if they play a second Lord of Atlantis. Sick. Oh, wait, that's actually sick. Sarah Angel. Let's organize this board. Ideally, 
arrange my cards. Drawing a lot of lands here. Oh, whoa, transmute artifact. Doesn't really do much nowadays. Cave of the Ice Worm. This is my first clue. Let me take the cards. You are a skillful magician, says the merfolk shaman. Did I go here? Oh, fuck it. Get out of here. 55 gold for a hypnotic specter? So I should just be in black, right? Like, dark ritual, hip... Like, you... Like, black is just... I'm gonna buy this Hypnotic Spectre. Black just seems broken. I mean, in general, black's broken in older magic, but, you know. 55G Hippie. All right, great. Uh, I, I'm going to call it there uh, because we have another stream coming up in uh, five minutes from now. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. The game didn't crash. It's Shondalar, baby. The game didn't crash. That's exciting. I'm looking forward to playing more of this throughout the month. You know? It's, uh, it's fun. It's cruel. But this is also... It's kind of shocking I didn't play this game when I was younger. Because this is the kind of bullshit that I grew up on. You know? So, that's kind of interesting. Uh, so, yeah. Next week, playing more Shondalar. Thanks for watching. Same bad time, same bad channel, all that. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Reminder, patreon.com slash loading ready run uh, is the way to support the channel and everything we do here, including playing Shondalar. Um, as well as uh, store.loadingreadyrun.com or supporting us here on Twitch or YouTube, depending on where you're watching. Or you can support us on the Friday night's Kickstarter uh, where we hit the goal, but you know, more money for doing things you like and us getting paid and stretch goals and all that. Uh, so thanks. I'll see you next week. And please, for the love of God, remember to save. Okay, bye!